In most states, when a defendant is released from jail on bond and fails to appear back in court, a warrant is issued for their arrest, and bounty hunters are sent to locate the defendant. Cases on this show are real. The defendants are not actors. They can run, but they can't hide. U.S. Bounty Hunters. In today's episode, this defendant is held up in her mom's guest house with some questionable house guests. This dad calls his son to come home, but doesn't mention the bounty hunters are waiting. This defendant has a confession to make, and this defendant's wife doesn't take kindly to the bounty hunters. We went on this crazy case, a young lady named Deborah Lee. We hit several properties, didn't know where the female was, but we got information. Keep in mind, we hit Mama's house once before. Mama told us sometimes she stays in the house behind her, which is where she, her rental property. So we decided today, we're gonna hit Mama's house early in the morning to surprise everybody. And then we're gonna hit that house on the side of the big one. She stays in the back one over there. This is a different, totally different case. Yeah, that's the dad. We're waiting for him to leave. He's gonna be leaving here in the next uh, three minutes or so because he doesn't want to see his daughter get arrested. So, but uh, mom said she's not sure if, uh, if, uh, if she's in there or not. But we're gonna go check it out. Okay, oh uh, no, I was gonna have you leave it on my voicemail because like I said, I'm not gonna be back in the It's gotta be killing her, home. Dad. You know? Yeah. Well, that's what kids do. to mom's house I ended up having to take back door why did I choose back door because when we hit the second property it was a big old fence we had to jump and since the lead bounty hunter that was running in front of me jumped the fence I had to act like I could jump the fence too I ended up getting up there but I almost failed but I got over that fence If I gotta kick it in, then you're definitely going to jail. Deborah, open the door. Back up. Back up. Back up. crazy thing about it, when my guys hit the back, it ended up being like four or five people in there. And it wasn't enough bounty hunters inside. And it was weird because they had all kind of sexual toys in the closet, a swing and everything. And who we find in the bed, the female that we looking for, Deborah Lee, in the bed with another guy. And they were all strung out on drugs. So we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know whether they was gonna act crazy or whether they were gonna go easy. Ends up, they must have been high on marijuana or something because they were real mellow. <laughs> They see it. Don't move. What's that? What's this one right here? All right, come on out here. Hey, you guys don't live here. 
Hey, what? What shoes? Why don't you get some shoes, man? Are these your shoes? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. We're going to get one Put the dog outside. Come on, go. I'm so for the door. I hear my brother. You what? I hear my brother. Banging on the door? Yeah. All right. Um, question for you. Who do you want to leave in here? Uh, you want to Excuse me. Okay. Come on. Come on. Thank you. What about your mom? She don't care? Come here. Come here. It's your mom's house. Well, we'll talk to your mom. She says they can stay. They can stay. She go says they got to go. Here. Yeah, go ahead. Right. You want me to get rid of them? Yes, Okay, because she said everybody could stay. I'll get rid of them. I'll be done. Okay, they got to go. All right. Okay. Thank you, Vicky. All right. Thank you, Vicky. She's going to... She's going to go spend time right now. It'll clean her up. I'll call you, Vicky. Thank you. Okay, thanks for, thanks for the consideration. Okay, and I'll give you a call and tell you everything's when it's fine, all right? Thank you. I got to go. I got a knife right here. Let me see that. You have ID on you? Do you have any warrants? Uh, yeah, I do. For what? Uh... Possession of marijuana in Henderson. That's it. Am I going to jail? No. Okay. Okay. No, no, that's what those are. You take care of that warrant, bro. I will. I just got to take like 120 bucks out of Where's your ID at? Uh, actually, I did a hotel. Hey, hey, go ahead, baby. <laughs> hey, mom, uh, mom's in there just crying. She doesn't want her kid going to jail. She wants all those, uh, those kids out of there. This guy's are just bad news. That's why she's in the position she's in right now. Well, it's tough love, too. Yeah. What do you do? You put your kid in jail? She had or do you let her keep doing drugs? You know? yeah, she had every opportunity to take care of it. Yeah. You guys got to pack up. You guys got to leave. Mom don't want you in there. Right. What? She's done with that. We got the female dressed and got on out the house. But we decided to kind of talk to her about getting her life straight because mom really felt for her daughter and gave her a place to stay. And she told us to talk to her and try to set her straight. So that's what we did. I just take care of your warrant. Because I couldn't take care of the bill money first. That's, that was How come you got money for drugs? I don't. Fucking you're not. You're, there's no. I swear to God, there's no money in that house. I'm not saying there's money in the house, but where do you get your drugs? We've been sober, you know. So I mean, you're sober. Yeah. No. No, I am. I mean, I'm not. It's not like I'm trying to be sober. You know, don't get me wrong. <laughs> so look, you got a maid. You got your own place. You bought your car, and you pissed it all away from that. Crazy. You need to go, you need to take a couple classes. No, drug court. You need to do more than that. You need to check yourself in. Rehab. All of you. 27 years old. I'm 47. You look older than me. The last time you looked in the mirror. Last night, I think. You know, sometimes we take cases and we see people that really should be able to change their life around. And that's kind of why we wanted to talk to this young lady because we saw promise in her based on stuff that we learned about her in the past. 
We really wanted to try to help her get her life together. That's why we talked to her. Make sure when they get her quick destination. Coming up next. Here, big old. Yep. Of course, I think it's the hall, the sleepy phone. Okay, did the girlfriend sign for him? No, the girlfriend didn't. The dad signed for him. Okay, that's all on your But the dad's number's no good. The, you know, the girlfriend's number was like third on the references. The first two was Is that a homeowner. Okay, this is coming up on the 3rd of September, so we need to get on this one right away. All right, yeah. Get the beat down. The beat down. On this case, we went after a guy. We knew where he hangs his head, but we decided we wanted to put a full team together because going down this street, you can easily be seen. We all get together. We meet in the location. We head over to the property. Uh, doors open. Doors open. Doors open. All right. What's the guy's name? Oh, fuck. Give me. I don't know. Give me the file. We head over to the property. We hit front and back. We decided to hit it hard. We didn't want to lose this guy. It was a big bond. When we get inside, his parents were in there. Working in, um, I don't know. You don't know? Here's on. But we hit the house. We start searching anyway. Found out it was more rooms in the house than we anticipated. Somebody pick this one? Two rooms here for you. Can't tell me you don't know where he works. That's why I'm going to go to work. They're going to go to work. They're going to go to work. They asked him to go to work to do some installation today. They don't know where to work. No, I don't know. I have the phone of the boss, but I don't know where to work. He's got the number of the boss. Which is his room? It's my, uh, my mom, son, and his uh, there. We messed around. We found guns in the house. That gave us leverage against the father. So we let him know that we don't care about, but he better get his son there or everybody going to jail. We got one Ruger here. Unloaded. He can have charges for harbor diffusion. Everyone in this house right now can have charges for harbor diffusion, but if we get him today, then these guys are off the hook. Whoever lives here is off the hook. You see, tiene que hablar, la patron, and no te dice nada que todos aquí están muy mal, muy allá. ¿Qué dónde está? O sea, lo que quiere saber es que no te está trabajando ahorita. Okay. Y no le dices nada que hay gente aquí para ir allá. Okay. Is there a phone? Let me let me get on the phone. Entonces ahorita no anda ahí contigo. Um. Hasta mañana. Hey. Okay. Okay. Bueno, entonces. Doesn't know where he's at. Didn't go to work. No. The guy, he was asking the boss if he knew where he was at. He doesn't know where he, he didn't go to work today. He was supposed to be there today, but didn't go. What time did Caesar leave this house this morning? Que tiempo que fue tu? Hoy en la mañana. Como a las diez más o menos. 
this about 10. 10. 10. Try to sell one. Lo tiene usado yeah. un pager Caesar. o algo así. Caesar. Caesar try to sell one. Sí. Sí. Okay. You need to call him up. Okay. Did he get alive? You need to call him up and tell him he needs to come home. Okay. Okay. The father called the son, told him the daughter is sick, and he needed to get there right away so that he could take her to the hospital. Si puedes venir para la casa, por favor. Sí. ¿Quién es? Soy, soy tu papá. Es que la niña está un poquito mala. Pues no sé, necesito que vengas para llevarla con el doctor. Ok, espera. 15 to 20 minutes. All right, let's uh, move the vehicles. That gave us an edge. I put teams on every corner. We were watching the house from every angle. It took a while, but eventually we saw his car show up. We didn't have time to plan, we just had to hit it. As soon as we see him passing on. What, co what color of the car? Uh, just a Nissan Maxima. Okay, say a color. We set up surveillance, had a team inside just in case the dad tried to call him back and warn him not to come. We had a team down the street. It was a narrow street, so there were, wasn't a lot of places we could hide. So I had one of the teams hide at a vacant house that was up for sale. I'll take the driver's side. <clears throat> and I'll load them out of the car and then you guys just take them down. Does that sound good or what? Seems like it's been 20 minutes. <laughs> it's been brought up. We finally saw the car coming. At that point, we decided to get the guy outside so that nobody inside would get involved. We swooped down on it. The guy didn't know what hit him. We snatched him out, had him down on the ground, and it was over that fast. He knows he failed to appear. He's going back to jail. There's nothing he can do. It's because he didn't go to court. Coming up next. Open the door, I'm gonna there kick it, it in. There it goes. That's our shadow. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Get on the ground. Back up. No problem. Come on, you need. Yes, sir. on another case, I received a call on the defendant that my team had to immediately go after. Okay, here's the situation. Uh, on Spencer, yeah. we have the GPS put on the bottom of her Toyota. She's at that apartment, and now she's en en route to, looks like, Civic Center and Brooks. Yeah. Okay. But the other team said that he didn't get in the car. They didn't see any guy get in the car, so it's just her in the car. 
So I'm wondering if he's going, she's going to get him some food or whatever. But they said that there's some other people hanging around by the apartment, so we got to get over there with the picture and see if it's him. Oh, that's yeah. what we got. But he's putting on some weight, like 280 pounds. 280 pounds. Oh, uh, yeah, he's, he's, eating, he's eating some good yeah, food. so those guys still hanging around there? Right Six back. foot, 280. He's a big boy. We're going to need two pairs of cuffs. So we're just standing by here, Jacob, to see if uh, this lady ends up leaving or her boyfriend. We're back at this apartment now. They say the car's here. But we don't know. We don't know for sure if our guy's in there right now at this point. So the other part of the team just got here, so we're going to pull behind him and see uh, what we're going to be doing here. Where were they hanging out at? They were hanging out over there, up further. They're all back here now, though. They're in the apartment now? The car pulled back out. As far as how many people got in the car, I don't know. One of the that's ladies. Her, that's her car over there, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll be watching the kid. And it basically all the way almost against the wall there. And then oh. she, she went in, she came back out by herself. Yeah, there was a group of people. Okay, so she's in there. You gonna hit it? I'm trying to call her right now. All right. Let's see if she'll put him on the phone. Hi, right, is this Monique? This is Steve from Express Mail Bonds. How's it going? Oh, good. Hey, is Spencer around? Let's go. Just so happened, when they hit the house, other people were there. I think one was his wife, and a couple was his kids. So I assume the defendant gave up easy because he didn't want to involve the family. <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> we just got off the phone with the bail bond. Oh, yes, sir. Oh my god. What is going on? Uh, I'm not going nowhere. Anybody else in the house? No, just us. Today, on your sixth Turn around to the dog. Oh my god, what is it? He's been checking in every Monday. We were supposed to get a notice from the court. We didn't get anything in the mail. Of the, I just another court checked in. Date. I just made a payment and everything. Oh my god. Can you, why is there a camera? Are you serious? Can you turn the camera off, please? There's no need for this to be videotaped. Well, I have to keep What is going on? Excuse me, sir. I have a note tape that I have my marijuana in my pocket. He did tell my agents that he had marijuana in his pocket because he knew if we locked him up and they found that, that would be a new charge. When is the, why are you guys taking him? Can somebody please lock him? You want to go to jail too? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I swear I didn't know that I missed the court date. Nah, man, because I had checked in. They told me they were going to send me something in the mail. Uh, yeah, and, no, sir. And that's what I've been checking every day. And I, that's, that's one thing I do, man. I check in every every time you guys tell me to check in. And I've been making my payments all the time. You know, it's really a tough situation, man, when you have to go after defendant and his kids have to see him get arrested. A lot of these guys don't understand how much trauma that puts on their children when they're on the run and they hide where their family is. That's hard on a child to see his father go to jail. Well,
What we do another day. Good job, man. I'm his corporate child support, so I'ma start running.